Uh, good morning, YouTube. Welcome to uh, another episode of Farming, Fixing, and Building. Uh, today we're going to do a little, do a little farming this morning. Uh, I'm spraying some uh, corn, uh, laying it by, uh, whatever you want to call it. Spraying it with uh, nitrogen uh, the second time. This is. Uh, Today's May 26th, I think. And I'll get out of the tractor here in just a minute and I'll kind of explain to you what we're doing, the equipment we're using. Uh, this corn uh, here is a uh, variety. We tried this year um, from a company called Hybrid 85. Um, they're, they got a couple different uh, hybrids. Um, that are conventional corn, so no no BT, no Roundup Ready, uh, straight up conventional, um, and they're selling it for eighty five dollars a bag. Now it costs me a little bit more than that because I live in North Carolina, and I think that their headquarters are in Nebraska. So it, it cost a little bit for, for shipping. We actually pulled together. There was a there was a small company down in Dillon called Little Mill Seed Company, and uh, I actually got it from them. But it ended up costing me a, a little bit less than a hundred dollars a bag. Um, but I've been real impressed with it so far. Um, I think it's I think it's really done good. I mean, it looks as good as any of the decal or Pioneer or anything like that that I've ever planted, and it's a whole heck of a lot cheaper. Um, your name brand corners uh, today, you know, are 200 250 dollars a bag. Uh, so we were needing something a little bit cheaper, as I said in my video um, a few weeks ago when I was plowing this corn, cultivating it. Uh, we sell most of our corn for deer corn, so. We're not necessarily shooting for 300 bushels to the acre. I mean, that'd be nice, but you know, as long as we get you know, 100, 100, 120, we're, we're pretty happy. Because we can, we sell our, our corn at a little bit higher price. All right, so um, give you an overview of what we're doing. We've got a uh, sprayer hooked up here with a uh, John Blue ground driven pump, okay? John Blue uh, is a company, I think they're out of Huntsville, Alabama. They've been manufacturing metering pumps, I think, for over 100 years. And um, it's ground driven, there's a chain, as you can see, going down to the wheel on that side. Uh, that drives the pump, it's a piston pump. I can see it. The rate here on the on the side of the pump for, for whatever uh, setting I want to set it on. We got liquid nitrogen in the tank. It's a 30% uh, nitrogen solution. Spraying eight rows at a time. Okay. Now, if you notice, we got it equipped with uh, drop nozzles, and that's so we can get the nitrogen below. Um, the growing point of the corn. If you look at the corn plant, you know, this, this part right here is the growing point. If we spray nitrogen inside that, uh, then we would kill it. But we want to get the nitrogen uh, down here in the middles to the roots and um, where, it can, where it can do some good uh, for the plant. We also got, these are not the regular uh, fan nozzles that you would see on most chemical sprayers. This is uh, called a flood jet uh, nozzle. And it puts out a, a wide, kind of a flat spray. Um, as far as the rate, we're putting about 25 gallons per acre. And you can, that's the beauty of the John Blue pump. You can set it to put anywhere from you know, five or 10 gallons to the acre right on up to, I think this pump, it's a 4,000 series. It'll probably put up to about 
50 gallons today. So I got it set about halfway. And uh, it's, it's doing real, real good for us. Um, also got another pump up here. This is just for, ag the PPO pump is just for agitation if we got chemicals in there. We don't have any chemicals today. I got a little hydraulic cylinder that pops my pump in and get this baby in gear. Off we go. Another good thing about a John Blue pump is it doesn't matter how fast you go. You can creep along or you can go so fast that you blow the hoses off. It's still it's going to put out the same amount of um, material uh, anytime anytime you're moving, okay? But this is the corn, it's, it's looking good. Uh, this is the same field that I, I shot that video of us cultivating with. Um, most of the time when I'm spraying, I usually use the, the 275 Massey Ferguson. That's the uh, tractor I cultivated with, but we had 10 inches of rain last week. And so I needed some four wheel drive to, to make it through this field the nitrogen sprayer back there holds 300 gallons and when you got 300 gallons of nitrogen I think it weighs about 11 and a half pounds uh, per gallon it will bog you down in a heartbeat let's see if I can get some footage of it of it spraying back here you can see that coming out and it's just fanning down down below the corner. I don't have any fancy GPS or anything like that. So I'm relying on some good old fashioned math. One, two, three. If you got any questions about any of this stuff, uh, give us a comment. Um, if you enjoyed what you saw, give us a like. Subscribe. Well, I'm, I'm new to this uh, video and things, so I'm going to try to, to get a little bit better at it. I'm going to try to keep some uh, videos posted. Um, I named the channel Farming, Fixing, and Building, and, and so far all I've done is, is farming videos. But um, I'm also in the process of uh, remodeling a house, and um, I also build furniture and other other things like that. So, um, and I got a little sawmill. I, I kind of do a little bit of everything. So I'm gonna try to get some videos of, uh, of doing that stuff. But my my passion is is farming. I, I love being out on the farm. I love uh, driving the equipment, working on the equipment love growing things. I'll give you a, a full farm tour uh, here sometime this week with, with some garden updates. Everything's looking pretty good considering some of the weather uh, that we've had. That, that 10 inches of rain last week really put a, a slowdown on everything. Uh, most people think uh, you know, if you're getting rain that's a really good thing. It is up to a certain extent. But as my grandpa used to say, uh, a dry year will scare you to death, and a wet year will kill you. Um, and, and that's true. Usually too much water is a whole lot worse than, than having a, a little bit of drought. So.
Anyway, guys, thanks for riding along with us today. Uh, if you enjoyed it, give us a like, subscribe. See you later.